we have a lot of really interesting questions coming up for ourselves as a species as we can learn to read and write to cells. You know, up until the turn of the last century, we viewed the body as kind of divine, and if something were wrong with it, we looked to above for the answers. But around the same time that we started developing things like interchangeable parts on the assembly line, we started to think about our bodies in a similar way. As we start to drill down into biology and understand the hardware and software of, you know, DNA and cells, it's transforming how we're viewing the body and, and how we view our possibilities for repairing the body. Instead of thinking, okay, well, let's make a titanium implant to replace a hip, why not take the cells that repair our bodies every day, repair our bones every day, and collaborate with those cells to make a new living hip? A very paradigm-shifting question that I am seeing being asked all around the world is, can I do fill-in-the-blank with cells? Can I replace pixels in a video game with cells? Can I grow leather from cells? Can I grow homes with cells? You know, why not use living lattices of, of plants to grow new living structures? It's really happening all around the world. Um, people are learning to collaborate with cells. It's a very, very disruptive technology and I believe has the potential for lots of positivity for us as a species. I hope that in 30 years we can look back and say that congenital defects are a thing of the past. When people have cancer and they need to have bone resected, that they're not permanently disfigured, that they have a chance to be rebuilt.